All right, this video I want to talk about the uh, Expel paint protection on this vehicle. This is a 2013 Honda Civic. We bought it in uh, summer of 2015 and uh, had the uh, paint protection put on it afterwards. So when we bought this car, I think it had about 40,000 kilometers on it. It has uh, was pretty low mileage at the time. It's now uh, the end of 2020. It has 80,000 kilometers on it. So we haven't driven it very much, but uh, when we bought it, it did have a few paint chips in the hood, which I don't recall where they are. I'm just trying to look for them quickly here and see. But, uh, they're not jumping out at me, but I did do a little couple touch-ups on the hood in a couple spots, which isn't ideal. You should do the uh, paint protection when the vehicle is brand new. We also, there was a dent in the uh, fender up here so we had to get paintless dent repaired on that and polished up before we did the uh, expel on it we've since got hit here on this car we did the entire front front clip as well as a couple of different spots so uh, it's been a good product this car is always outside it's not driven much as uh, you can note from the mileage and uh, one issue with the Expel or any paint protection is you're not supposed to go to the car wash a lot. So uh, I only take it to the car wash a few times a year. And uh, we don't drive on dirt roads. So just to clarify that. So when I had this put on, I shopped around and tried to get a good deal. And I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have found uh, one of the more expensive places and went to them. So it's a, a good product. It's not peeling up anywhere. There's a few locations that you'll see where they didn't get it in the correct spot. So it overhangs a bit. It doesn't fold over edges. So there should be like a 16th gap all the way around wherever they put it. So it's on the fenders here. It's had a chip here where uh, it's not quite covering. So we'll need to put some paint on that. There's uh, one bubble here, not a big concern. But uh, the front of the vehicle is done well. It's starting to peel up here. Or they pull and stretch it too much, it becomes an issue. So you could just peel that off a little bit and, s and just cut it off with a knife to get rid of it. There's uh, a bit of cutting here to make it reach around. Did the, the full front, front bumper. hit by a rock on the leading edge a couple times because they don't wrap around the uh, the leading edge of the hood but uh, I think it's better than nothing. There's a good chip in it right there. That one looks like it might have gone through the expel. A couple of bubbles here but what I, my point is that I am happy with the product and then the car has been rubbed up by on a couple of things here. I don't know if you can see that on the end of my finger. Yeah. And then here they must have had some trouble when they were installing it. Or it could have been that uh, the vehicle got hung up on something. It's a bit too low in my opinion. There's another gap in the expel here. There's about a quarter inch gap on the, where my middle finger is located. That's what that line is that you're seeing there. We also did the uh, inner sills. Had to put it on here because I like to knock my boots off. So from right here over to here, we had done. And the uh, paint on this vehicle is very soft. We didn't do the doors themselves. It ran over a, a tire and it flipped up and hit the uh, door spear there. It would have been nice if it was protected, but I don't think that it would have been protected uh, anyway from the tire. It would be pretty hard to take that hit. We did the uh, mirrors. It's doing very well on the mirrors. You can see there's scratches in the paint on this car. The paint is very soft. It's been quite disappointing. Anything that touches it leaves a mark. We also did the uh, 
trunk entrance. They had to cut these parts out custom. At the time, Expel didn't provide uh, that for it. And then again, here, I rubbed up against some uh, branches and it permanently damaged the paint on the vehicle. So I kind of wish I'd done the full vehicle, but I would have, should have gone to a better place to get it put on, I think. So when we go to sell this vehicle, we're gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance on the material. It's starting to peel up a little bit here, but the uh, bottom, the rockers are textured on this vehicle, so it's not going to be perfect. But uh, generally, it's kept the car looking a lot better than it, it would have. We drive another vehicle here. You can see how pounded this one is. It was kind of like that when we bought it. So uh, we'll probably get it done on the next vehicle if we buy another nice car. Or we might just buy some more crappy cars, we haven't really decided. But if you have a nice vehicle, I definitely recommend using the Expel product. The 3M product is probably just as good. I wouldn't worry too much about the brand. What you really need to worry about is the installer that puts it on. So thank you for watching.